Okay, uh, back out in the garage today and uh, got the arc droid out. So we are doing some arc droid stuff. Uh, promise there will be sparks today. Um, in the last video, I, I did a sheet cam experiment and I did a firmware update. It was basically 25 minutes of failure. Um, <laughs> but good news is, uh, well, sheet cam worked. It just didn't do what I had hoped that it would. It didn't provide the results that I'd hoped. Uh, the firmware update didn't work. Good news, um, uh, Andrew put out, uh, so ArcDroid put out a new um, firmware update and I did apply it this morning. It, it's a, there's an update for the main unit and the head unit. And so both are up to date and it does store the date now. And uh, so that's all good. So no worries if that's bothering somebody who's gonna buy an ArcDroid. Uh, they, they're on top of the firmware, they update things, they fix things and uh, that's that's all working fine. Um, another thing is uh, I appreciate everybody logging, uh, subscribing, and liking and commenting. Comments are great. Uh, as a matter of fact, that's how I know about the firmware update. Um, but if you want to support the channel even more, uh, I did open up a store. So if you go down in the description, you can pick up, pick up one of these hats. There's cups, t-shirts, stickers, whatever. And also some of the files that I thought somebody might be interested in using, I put them up there. So for a few bucks, you can grab one of my, the cut files that I created and like the Christmas ornament, uh, a couple of the dog shapes. Anyway, um, so those are up there if anybody wants to take a look at those. Um, no worries, this is not one of those buy something or the shop's closing kind of deals. It just uh, seemed like it made sense to put that out there in case somebody wants to support and Maybe it'll help me buy with a little bit more metal, do some more uh, interesting projects. Um, so for today, um, I have what I consider the best barbecue that I've owned ever uh, since, I, since I began barbecuing. <laughs> it's a Weber kettle, simple, you know, the round black Weber. This one's, I think, called a performer. It has a table attached to it. Um, by far my favorite um, barbecue I've ever had. But anyway, the, the grill has, it's a three-part grill. It has little wings that flip up so you can stick uh, wood and charcoal in there. Uh, if you're smoking or whatever for extended um, cooks, you can uh, add stuff. But the center also comes out for, for accessories. So the centerpiece of the grill pops out and it just sits in there. And one of the, one of the um, accessories they have, I think they have a wok and like a Dutch oven is a sear plate and I thought well even on Amazon those things are 40 bucks and it's like if I can make a sear plate so I got on Inkscape and drew something out well I measured the exit the the one that comes with it got an Inkscape and uh, drew something out and did did applied those measurements I think I got a good design and uh, so we're going to cut that out today the unfortunate thing is I think it probably needs to be thicker than the 10 gauge I have and I do have some quarter inch, but it's not quite big enough to cut that out. Uh, I don't think it is anyway. Um, so I'm going to cut it out of the 10 gauge and I'll probably, I'll probably wash it and season it and cook a steak on it and see what happens. But I do think it's probably just a little bit thinner material than what uh, would be ideal for that. But what the hell, we'll cut it out and we'll see what happens. So uh, I'll get this all set up and uh, bring you guys back and we'll do some cutting. Okay, I got everything all set up. I know I said I was gonna jump right into cutting, but um, when I was setting this up, uh, I got some, uh, saw some things I thought I'd bring up. Um, so I drew, I did the drawing right there, you can see it. Um, I did the drawing in Inkscape, saved it as an SVG, and I brought it into Sheet Cam. In Sheet Cam, you can do everything that I've been so far I've been kind of leaning on Inkscape or I mean uh, the ArcDroid to take the Inkscape DXF and do this work for me automatically. For the most part you kind of have to take what Inkscape does as far as cut order and uh, where it starts cutting and stuff. I mean there's a little adjustability but Sheet Cam lets you do full control, do whatever you want. Um, so brought the drawing into Sheet Cam. Uh, you can see it there um, in sheet cam. And uh, 
I didn't do much. I I um, had sheet cam set the cut order based on um, you know minimizing warpage, and so it bounces all over the place. There's some settings like how far um, apart do you want the cuts. I think I had it set at three inches. So it's a you know it's a random looks like it's completely disorganized, but uh, it should minimize um, thermal impact to the material you're cutting. Um, anyway, the other th th but I I saved the DXF from Inkscape, and I also saved the G code from SheetCam onto the thumb drive. And I brought them both out here just for my own curiosity to see how different they look um, in the ArcDroid, what the ArcDroid does with it, and what I, what SheetCam and I did with it in SheetCam. So um, I fully intend to cut the one that came out of SheetCam, but but I'm going to load them both and uh, we'll see what see what that looks like. All right, so uh, my machine is on and empty. Let's see if I hit tune real quick. You can see the settings that are in there. And I'm gonna load the DXF. So like I said, this is just, what is that? I loaded the wrong one. So. Talk about messing up the plot of the movie or whatever. That's the G-code loaded. You can see how the G-code, I mean, it looks like completely, you know, disarray in the cut order. It's going all over the place. That's because the settings I told it to minimize, you know, the warping. The other thing is I kind of moved each one of the uh, lead ends, start points for each hole to the widest point. And um, some of the ones that are too small, I turned the lead in off on those. So let me load one I really intended to load. So when you load a DXF, ArcDroid has to convert that to G code. So that's what it's doing when it's loading. And the width of this one is 11.863. and it's loaded. So you can see it's much more linear. It's going to cut straight across the top. Um, I can change some of that, make it cut inside to out, but still it's going to keep a lot of the heat in one spot. So I would say that's not ideal. And if I do, so I'll zoom in, see what it's doing. Oh, it's got a zero lead in. Let's give it a point one two five. So the lead in is in the right side. I'm cutting a right cut, so it's cutting in in the uh, dispose, you know, the the waste metal. But that's the wrong place to start the cut, in my opinion. So not not ideal. Um, you could edit each one in here and you can do some things to change that, but so there you go, it's all loaded. It's definitely a different uh, cut order that it's going to use. Uh, like I said, I'm going to use the G code from, from Sheet Cam, it's not this, but I just wanted to show you the difference between the two. So let me load. The other thing is it loads the G code much quicker because there's no interpretation for it to do. It's just loading the G code, which was done with its the uh, post processor provided by ArcDroid. So let's see the tuning. Yeah, it's it's overridden some tuning settings that I don't like. If I have it raise an inch to clear itself after each cut, that wastes a bunch of time. This material is very flat, so I'm not too worried about that. I think my machine wants this to be 0 0.06. Whoops. If 
hard to hold my phone and tape this and do it at the same time, so bear with me. The curve should not be zero. It should be 0 0.035 for my machine. And I think that's it. 86 is the right feed rate for my machine at 40 amps with the uh, uh, 10 gauge that I'm cutting. So that looks like what we're going to run. All right, so uh, I'll put this back on the tripod and get this. Okay, thing everything's fired up, uh, making noise, 40 amps, um, air compressor's all full of air, and we're ready to cut. So uh, let's fire this up and see what happens. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, I might, as one of the commenters suggested, I might be a fan of uh, sheet cam. I like how that worked. Anyway, it looks pretty good. And no judging me for my dirty grill. That's what I'm replacing, that's the insert. And if it hadn't just started raining, I would go drop this into the actual grill, but I, I will do that, but it might have to wait, you know, one of those movie magic things. I'll just, just appear out there, but it's not going to happen right this second. So there you go. Cutout looks pretty good. I'll grind the dross off of it and uh, we'll try it out there in the grill. Okay, again, no fair judging, uh, judging my dirty grill, but that's how it's supposed to fit and it does fit. I couldn't wait till the rain stops, so that's all we're going to do out here. I'm going to take it back in and clean it up. Okay, so uh, I cleaned this right here. You can see it. I uh, time lapsed it, but I Got this cleaned up. I didn't take all the meal scale off. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna rust and stuff being cooked on. Uh, I might have to do this again out of, out of a quarter inch. Um, but I'm gonna try it out with the 10 gauge and see, see what I think of it. Um, I think I'll get a lot of use out of it. Um, it's not a manhole, it's not an industrial drain. It's actually a grill. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that came out. Uh, sheet, cam was, sheet cam was a big part of that, uh, being able to control 
what cuts when and uh, the lead in and lead out and all that stuff was awesome. Um, much like the commenter suggested, I probably will not go back to not using it. It's just awesome. It takes a lot of the pressure off the arc droid as well because it's already G code. All it has to do is load it and use it. It doesn't have to convert it and convert a DXF into, into um, G code. So, um, let's see what else I, I had. An, the announcement at the beginning that I opened up a store. Um, that if you can, if you want to contribute or you're interested and need a new hat, t shirt, sweatshirt, whatever, uh, I appreciate the support. Um, it'll help with my costs, but. This is not a shakedown. I mean, I'm not going out of business, not in business, I'm not going out of business if I don't make money or whatever. It's just a, a way to contribute if you appreciate it or whatever beyond subscribing, liking, and commenting. Comments are great. So see something I did wrong or see something you don't understand why I did it. I mean, I understand either. Uh, make a comment. Uh, I'll ha I try to answer all of them and uh, we'll, you know, I'll tell you what I know, which uh, I don't want to come across like I'm some sort of expert. Um, I'm just a guy that's a year into owning an arc droid. Many of you are just, you know, time on the pond behind me. Um, so I share what I know, and uh, hopefully we all benefit from uh, the pains I've felt and uh, the things I figured out. Um, anyway, I appreciate you watching, and uh, see you next time.